Well, it's going to be very hard. I think, um, listen, we're hoping that we can get out of the group. Uh, but as you said, you look at the game, it's very, very tough. Uh, I think the most important game for Ireland, of course, has to be the first game against Croatia. If we can get off to a winning start, uh, which I think we can do, then it gives us a much better chance. But clearly, it's a big, big challenge. He's done very well. I think, obviously, the qualify for this tournament, uh, pretty unlucky in the previous campaign, getting to the World Cup, losing to France in the playoffs. Um, you know, controversial decision cost the team. But he's been steady away, he's, he's got fast experience, he's got a settled team. Uh, they might be great on the eye to watch in terms of the way we play, but we're, you know, pretty solid, good at set pieces, have a, seems to have a good team spirit amongst the players, and that gives you half a chance. I don't think that, obviously, the, the, the big reaction has been to, to Rio being left out. Um, I think if you're Rio, you'd be disappointed. But listen, I suppose it was a difficult decision. Uh, no doubt, um, you know, Roy said it was a footballing decision. There's question marks over Rio's, fit, Rio's fitness. But listen, he's, he's got to make a decision. He's, he's, he's made it now. We've got to get on with it. I think Rio now will, you know, try and enjoy his summer. And it might help him next year in terms of his, his, his club career. Um, but that was only really shocking. You know, the, the boy Chamberlain came in, the young player from Arsenal, who's been, he's played a few games for Arsenal this year. I suppose that was the other, probably a big surprise. But other than that, I think it was a squad everyone expected. Would you have taken Rio? I would have taken Rio, yeah. Uh, but that's because I've played with Rio. And I think, again, when you look at his, the seasons he's had, I think he's had a pretty decent season. But, of course, you can't please everybody. Obviously, Jamie was more a defender. I didn't come across Jamie too much in terms of challenges on the pitch. Of course, Patrick played in the middle, so I had more uh, physical battles against him. So I'd have to say Patrick, in the sense that I was up against him more often particularly with the rivalries uh, we had uh, with United and Arsenal, but obviously it would be nice to, to be on the same team now.